with these future military officers here and in all these different breakout rooms, um, this is a risk here now because I'm going to try something. But I thought I'd share with you something that my research team dug up on the top 10 reasons why BYU graduates make great soldiers. Now, I offer this, and as I do this, I want to say that one of my admonitions to myself is don't take myself too seriously, but do take your work seriously. So I offer that in that vein to test your sense of humor. Well, anyway, <laughs> and some of these are not exactly great, but you know, I got my, I'm, again, I'm only as good as the material they give me. So number 10, <laughs> top reason number 10, they have already been on many a mission. Uh, <laughs> Uh, number nine, army chow is no problem for folks accustomed to eating green jello and shredded carrots. <laughs> what is it? I didn't, we didn't get green jello. In fact, we had quite a lovely dessert. We did have shredded carrots, though, I noticed, and I appreciate that. I want to get the full experience. Um, no problem if they don't know what rank somebody else is. They just refer to them as brother or sister so-and-so. <laughs> they never go AWOL. They prefer to call it being less active. <laughs> I am very relieved, actually. I was reading these in the plane on the way here, and I... Uh, uh. <laughs> Number six, they will seize any objective swiftly if you tell them refreshments will be served. <laughs> we gave a Snickers bar to some folks that were sitting in the hallway over the way over here. We might want to... Um, number five, they know how to make things happen. In fact, if you ever need a base built quickly in a barren wasteland, you have only to stride out to where you want them to start, plat your walking staff in the ground, and, <laughs> and say with a loud voice, this is the place. <laughs> There's more. Number four. Number four. They have innovative ideas for handling insurgents, like assigning them home teachers. <laughs> Number three, they always have a year's supply of provisions on hand. <laughs> Number two, and one of my favorites, they are the world's most reliable designated drivers. <laughs> I, was, I was suggesting that they might also add something about, you know, there are no problems with general order number one. This is the order that we have in the Central Command region in Islamic countries, which prohibits certain uh, uh, liquid substances, shall we say. <laughs> and number one, they understand how far Iraq has come over the last seven years. In fact, they think that Iraq's old spot in the axis of evil can now be filled by the University of Utah. 